Hello and welcome to the home office in the JF-17 Thunder. Today we will be talking about the LS-6500 Glide Bomb that will be deployed in the Target of Opportunity mode by use of a targeting pod. The JF-17 can carry four of these weapons, however if you choose to carry four of these weapons you are going to find yourself lacking in terms of range, so that is something you need to take into account. So we are going to advance and we are going to set our altitude hold and we go to the air to ground mode. Now the target is about 50 uh, nautical miles away and we have it here on our senses. The first thing we should do is we should uh, go to the store's management page and we will switch uh, if um, this mode here is on PP you'll switch it to target of opportunity mode and you'll make sure all of this is are the settings you want them to be you can deploy two uh, glide bombs at once if you want to uh, and then you can also set an interval to avoid the weapons uh, impacting each other. Either way, you go to select your targeting pod, the WMD-7. You will turn it on, you will uncage it. And you will refocus it. Just like that. And we can slave it to the checkpoint for the time being so that uh, we know roughly where the target is going to be. Now we can increase speed a little bit more, make sure we hold our current altitude. Also make sure that the correct screen is selected whenever you are trying to guide the targets in question. So we are going to uh, start scanning for the targets. We're going to refocus. Currently we have an area target locked and that's, that's, that's simply no good. But I think we might actually have uh, the targets up ahead. The targets are fairly small, they're just bunkers, so it might take a while to actually locate them in this case. There we go. We, ha we have them on visual. And when you see this, it means that the weapon has locked on. And you can also see a uh, indication in the heads up display. So we are going to deploy one of our LS-7s immediately onto the target. And as you can see, it will uh, guide itself towards the target. It will navigate to the best of its ability to make sure that the target is destroyed. And this actually, and you don't have to keep lacing the target either. You can do like this. You can select the next target and you can release the next bomb. No problem whatsoever. And then you can just keep doing that. It, as long as you have the targets, and the targets are fairly close by, of course right now we are almost overflying the targets. So we are more or less being dicks about just testing the capacity of these glide bombs. Another bomb away. And that's all the bombs. Warning. So we're gonna check the F10 map here Warning. and see exactly how we are doing with the Warning. launch procedure. So the first bomb is heading towards Warning. the first bunker. Warning. That's quite a f few... Warning. 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 Okay, so if we check the map here, Warning. it looks like we managed to scratch Warning. most of the targets. Warning. Yeah, I think we managed to scratch three of four Warning. targets. Uh, that is at least those Warning. who are burning. So, 
We're just gonna kill the Master Warning and we are gonna break out of this area because mission is accomplished and hopefully you now have a better idea on how to use the glide bombs in the JF-17 Thunder.